What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay, and I'm back at it with another video. Now, in today's video, I will be giving you guys five mistakes to avoid in NBA 2K19 when you make your my player. Now, let's get into it. If you are making a point guard, bro, make your point guard between, make your point guard 6'5 through 6'7. No shorter than 6'5. <laughs> Excuse me, and this is why. Because, bro, like 2K said, they is focusing on defense. So if you have a short my player, like, that is going to hurt you. You feel me? Like, it's going to be harder for you to score as well. Because you so short, if you going up against 6'6", six, six, my player, you like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, bro, 9 times out of 10, you going to get clamped up because he's so he he taller than you, bro. And when you get on defense, it's over. It's a wrap. He taller than you, bro. You feel me? So that's why I'm saying, like, make him from 6'5 to 6'7 because the taller you are, the better defense you have, the better offense you have. You feel me? I know y'all probably like the speed, the dribbling, but, bro, Defense gonna win games, bro. <clears throat> so if you a point guard, make your point guard from 6'5 to 6'7, bro. Now, another mistake people make is, bro, don't make a shooting guard. Let me show you guys something. Okay, pure shot correct. And this is a shooting guard. He has four, four Hall of Fame, four gold, four silver, and eight bronze, right? Now, that was the shooting guard. Okay, now let's look at the point guard. Same amount of badges, bro. The point guard is a lot faster than the shooting guard. The only thing the shooting guard got over point guards is that the shooting guard, they height maxed out at 6'8". But why would you want that one inch height when you can be 6'7 in the point guard and move way faster? So that's a, another mistake players make. They make shooting guards when point guards is way better than the shooting guard. Like, you don't gain nothing from being the shooting guard. You feel me? From a point guard, you gain a lot, you gain speed, and you can maintain your height, bro. Now, for small forwards, a good height for small forward is from 6'8 and 6'10. Now, if I was to make a small forward, I would make him 6'9 because, like, you you ain't too slow, you feel me, and you ain't too short, you feel me? Like, you 6'9 and you still can maintain that speed, bro. So, if you a small forward, I would make him from 6'8 to 6'10. Uh, this is another mistake they make. Don't make a power forward. Why would you make a power forward when you can make a center, bro? Because if you make a power forward and you play part, nine times out of ten, you're going to be you gonna be the center for the team. So why not just make a center? You feel me? Like, a power forward, they match height is seven foot. You're going to be going up against seven three centers. So look, bro. Don't make a power forward. It's a way it's gonna be a waste of your VC. If you make a power forward or a shooting guard, it's gonna be a waste of VC. Now, for the center, for the height for the center, I will make my center from make your center from 7-1 to 7-3, bro. No shorter than 7-1. Because you probably looking at it like, bro, but if I if I go seven foot, like nothing is affecting, bro. At the end of the day, you as a center, you need height. You feel me? You there for rebounds, especially if you an inside center. You gonna need that height, bro. So I will go from seven one to seven three. Now let's just do a quick recap before we move further. For further on in the video, man. If you a point guard, make them six five through six seven. Don't make no shooting guard because the point guard is better than the shooting guard. Small forward, make them six eight through six ten. Don't make a, a power forward because a center is better than a power forward, bro. Like, if you like I said, if you making a power forward or a shooting guard, it's a waste of VC, bro. Now, let's get into wingspan, bro. <clears throat> Screw me. Now, wingspan, and this for all archetypes, all player builds. Max out your wingspan. Okay, so let me let me give you guys an example. Would you rather have T-Rex arms? Like, let's use a pure sharp for example. Okay, you know if you put the pure sharp uh, arms all the way down, his threes is a 99, right? But he he ain't good on defense because his arms too short, right? So would you rather have a 99 three ball with no defense or a max wingspan? So that max arms with a 96 uh, three ball with defense, you feel me? So in 2K19, bro, make sure you, whatever player you make, max his arm, his wingspan out, bro. You gonna max that out for that. It come with better defense, and you can still do what you made to do. And plus, like if you match your arms out, that 
that's giving you more like flexibility, bro, to work with. Cause you feel me, you can guard anybody cause your arms long, especially if you sit seven and you make them long. Bro, nine times out of ten, if you a point guard, the average point guard height is going to be like six, four, six, three. You feel me? They ain't gonna go too tall cause they like I said, it's a new 2K. They looking at speed. So, bro, if you watching my video, you gonna have an advantage over all of them, bro. Now, look. Any player you want to match the wings fan out. Now, with the weight. If you are making a dribbling archetype, you always want to put your weight all the way down. All the way down, no matter what, bro. If you a small forward or like a dribbling archetype, put your weight all the way down because you're going to need that speed. But if you are a slasher. So, let's go ahead and make a slasher real quick. I'm just gonna show you guys, bro. If you are a slasher, excuse me, but if you are a slasher, bro, I would make the slasher because you know you're gonna need contact dunks. But, okay, the slasher is thrown off like I would leave it right here or I would go up to like 210. You feel me? Because, like, you, I mean, even though you feel me, you here for contact dunks, you don't want to lose too much speed. Because what's the point of being a slasher without speed? You feel me? You're going to need speed. So I would make them from wherever uh, it started off at. So right here it started off at 202. I'll make them from 202 to 210, bro. It, like I said, it's all going to depend on whatever height you pick. You feel me? But if you a dribbling archetype, you know you're going to put the weight all the way down. You feel me? So for the center with the weight... Cause the small four, you're gonna wanna put his weight all the way down anyway, cause you wanna be fast. But a center, now it the now the center it depends. So say if you make an inside center, bro. An inside center, you is gonna wanna put his weight like from three from 300 to, to like 315, 315. And now I say that you probably saying, bro, why we can't go 340? Cub, bro, you gotta understand. Yeah, Yo, you here for a sprint and box out. Yeah, all that go up. That's cool. But look, bro. Excuse <clears throat> me. Sometimes you're gonna be running up against uh, an all guard lineup. Believe it or not, people still run all guard lineups for some reason. They take L's, but they still run. Okay, yeah, you're gonna have the advantage when y'all got the ball, but when the other team get the ball, they, I mean, the ball, excuse me, they gonna have an advantage. So, you don't want your speed to be like. All the way down, you feel me? You gonna want a little bit of speed. That's why I said make them from 300 to 315, bro. Cause you gotta look at it like this. If you hold a pure scratch, he gonna be running around three point line. You gonna have to keep up with him. If you can't keep up with him, the game gonna be over quick, bro. Cause he gonna burn them threes. You feel me? And plus, you already gonna have like the scrint and stuff, like cause it, bro. You already gonna have scrint. Cause when you match a wingspan out, as you see. Yo, strength go down a little bit. But you got to understand, bro, you losing a little bit of strength for rebounding, boss outs, you feel me, longer arms, defense. Because, look, they said the paint uh, defense going to be good this year, right? Okay, then. So, you going to need a tall my player and longer arms, bro. So, if you're an inside center, I would, and this is based off your height. So, this dude 7'3", so I would go between 300 pounds to 315 pounds, bro. Now, if you are a outside center, like a pure scratch, put your weight all the way down, bro. You probably saying, but bro, I'm a center. We already got a 66 rebound. Come on, man. You got to think of it like this, bro. You is a pure scratch. You is made to get open and shoot the ball, right? Okay. You need to be able to get yourself open. So, say if you got a 340 pound center on you. All you gotta do is just keep running around the three-point line, you feel me? Cause he gonna be like playing you back a lot because he trying to get in the paint for that where he belongs. And that when you just light his ass up. You feel me? You light him up. He play back, you light him up, bro. So if you a pure scratch, you wanna put your weight all the way down. Now, let's just go over all the steps again. And bro, when 2K19 drop, be sure to come to this video. And like, this is really a tip. I'm not telling you how to make your mind clear, cause you feel me? You bought the game. That's your PlayStation. <clears throat> but I want you guys, I don't want you guys to waste $50 on a my player that when we get it like two, three months into the game, you don't like them. So look, check this out. For point guard, make your height from 6'5 to 6'7. Don't make a shooting guard because the point guard is way better. Small forward, make them from 6'8, your height from 6'8 to 6'10. Uh, don't make a power forward because what's the point of having a big man that's powerful when you can have a center? Make your center height from 7'1 to 7'5. 
I mean, 715. <laughs> Make your height from 71 to 73. On all archetypes, mass out your wingspan. And like if you made for dribbling or speed or to get yourself open like a shooter, put your weight all the way down. If you made for like inside, like a slasher or rebound a post score or something like that, like put your weight up a little bit, but not don't mash your weight out, cause then you gonna be a lot slower and whoever you guarding gonna burn you every rim, bro. <laughs> but hey man, them the mistakes to avoid when you make your player in NBA 2K19. I'm trying to make you guys the best I can, bro. Just stick it out with me. Hey, it been your boy Jane. I'm out.